G'day everybody, Cam here from the fish room and if I can have your attention for 30 seconds that would be amazing. Please answer one of these three questions with a yes. One, do you like aquariums and tropical fish? Two, do you like saving money on your tropical fish aquariums and accessories? And three, do you like memes and having a laugh? If you have answered yes to any one of those three things, please join us on our Facebook page, jump on our YouTube channel, or check us out on Instagram, or even better, jump on our website, www.thefishroom.co.nz, and get into this. So for those of you who are on the Aquarium Frenzy Facebook page, that's quite a mouthful, you may have seen a couple of months ago I posted about uh, me wanting to get some angelfish for this big boy behind me. I've armed and armed with it, I've armed and armed some more, I've tossed the coin, I've done a whole lot of stuff. But something inside of me is like, I need to get a big group of angelfish in here. So, that's what I've done. So I put my feelers out, uh, text a couple of friends, uh, got hold of a couple of local breeders that I knew were breeding angelfish, and lo and behold, uh, one of the guys I knew had about 60 odd angels that he wanted to move on. Um, I really wanted the silver with black stripes, unfortunately he didn't have them, he just had the standard gold ones, but hey, beggars can't be choosers. He gave me a price, so I said how about a bit of fish food, so he was happy with that, so I swapped him some fish food and I got myself 20 angelfish, which I'm pretty happy with. So as you can see, these are the little gold angel fish that I picked up. Um, they are still very young, they are still very small, but I'm pretty happy with them. As you can probably see, there is not 20 angel fish in here. Uh, four, eight, pretty much it. But you're like, hey Cam, you said you got 20, what's going on? That's not 20. Are you really that stupid you can't count to 20? Well actually I can count to 20. What I decided to do is to do a bit of an experiment. So I put uh, the 8 or 9 or whatever it is in here. So this is just out in my fish room. Uh, they're in a tank to themselves. I feed them when I come out and feed the other fish. Uh, do water changes on it, you know, normal stuff. But I wanted to know how fast they would grow in here. Or, or if they would grow fast in here, which is my little black water. Um, soup that I'm making which you probably would have seen on the video I did the other day so there's another half a dozen in here it's really really hard to see I've only seen them twice since they've been in here uh, but I promise you there is another half a dozen tucked in here so the Daphne is in here and there's a lot of live blood worms and stuff like that so these guys are tucking out on natural food to get natural sunlight and very tan enriched water so this is uh, number two and then I have the rest of the group tucked away in here. So there's another half a dozen or so tucked away in my display. Um, gets fairly large water changes once a week, sort of 50-60% once a week, sometimes twice a week. They're obviously in a bigger aquarium being 10 foot long, so there's plenty of water for them to move around in. They get fed quite a bit in here. This is a display tank, I see it all the time, so I feed it quite often. There's a lot of blood worms going in, a lot of other food that I'm trialing. So these are the other group. So it's three in total. We just wanted to see sort of how fast they grow. Um, so the basic premise of my experiment is basically seeing which fish grow bigger and stronger in a short period of time. We're probably looking at only two months at the moment here in Nelson. It has been incredibly hot. Uh, 36 sort of degrees, 35 degrees type of thing and the water out inside in that tank has been nice and warm for them. So those guys are living in very natural type conditions on natural food, uh, like I said lots of sunlight, lots of tan and rich water. These guys are obviously competing for food but there's a far bigger body of water and they're getting a lot more food and then the guys in the uh, aquarium in the fish room are not getting fed quite as often and they're getting a lot smaller water changes but they're not competing with food as well so I'm very curious to know if that does affect growth rates within the fish they're from the same spawning so the genetics are all the same that kind of stuff so it'd be very interesting to know which one grows a bit faster or if one gets nicer looking or anything like that and so when I'm all done uh, about six to eight weeks time when it gets a little bit cooler here uh, they're all going to be put into here that's the plan um, 
probably looking to get rid of the, the parrotfish still, but I'll leave the rest of them in here. I know the electric blue acara is not like a natural fish or anything like that either, um, but I quite like them. But I'll be doing a little more research before I make sure everything goes in there and stuff like that because I want to go quite dark black water. So we'll just see how the other ones fit into that. And if they fit, I'll keep them. And if they won't fit, I'll swap them out and uh, really go black water on this bad boy because that's really what I want to do with it. So yeah, bring on the golden angelfish experiment. I no doubt we'll do another video in the future uh, when I get them all out of the other aquariums and put them in here we'll see which ones are bigger and which ones are not bigger excellent guys have a good one happy fish keeping and catch you later